Okay, hi. So I had to start a whole new um, stream because the old one was glitching out and I wanted me to connect software because I didn't realize I was just going to use the webcam. I haven't figured out like a proper high def streaming software yet, but um, maybe when I've moved and settled in in Uruguay, I can figure that out. But to um, Kira, Kiera Roberts, um, yes, you are first. Hi, welcome. Thank you for commenting. I just thought today I would sit down and answer a few questions that I get asked all the time. I know my last live was also sort of a Q&A, but this time I kind of had like set questions that I, or topics that I wanted to talk about before I sat down and started streaming. Um, and I'm hoping this will be okay. The lighting is great in here and um, there was a bit of noise at the very start. That's why I kind of waited a few minutes to start. My sister and her boyfriend were just in the kitchen and they just left, but I can kind of hear noises still. And um, and yeah, and my boyfriend is still asleep in the bedroom, so I can't film in bed either. So it's all sort of just a bit um, all over the place right now. But it is currently 8 a.m. in um, Adelaide, so I'm just sitting here in my pajamas. Hope <laughs> that's okay um, by the Christmas tree. But um, obviously, if you guys have any questions or comments, or you just want to say hi, the chat section, I don't know where it is for you guys, but for me, it's over here, um, is right there. So feel free to ask me some questions as we go along, and I will answer them if I can. But I do want to just quickly say, I feel like I've talked about this so much, but I still keep getting asked about it. So, latex. Everyone keeps asking me when I'm going to be posting latex again, when the next latex video is, am I doing another one, blah, 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 this and that. And the truth is, I don't know. I, I don't know if I am going to do another dedicated latex video just because again, like I am not that into it. It was never something that I was obsessed with. Everyone else wanted me to do. See, hi Fabian. Um, I love you and your latex leggings. I get it, everyone likes leggings and I do think they're cute. I have another pair, so I definitely can wear them every now and then, but I'm, I'm not obsessed with them. They're just another pair of leggings same with like the clothing and things i do like the look of pvc clothing and maybe i'll be wearing them every now and then i can sell my lookbooks i'll try to maybe throw in one here or there but it's not my go-to they are annoying i do have nails on so to like put on latex leggings i would 100 rip them um and i feel like while they I don't think they should be. They have been fetishized a lot and I don't want to be on here on YouTube in one tiny little box. So like say this is YouTube, all the way down here, this teeny little pinprint is like latex. And I, there's so many more things I want to post about, like um, traveling, moving out, um, fashion, makeup, even health and fitness. They're kind of like my main passions and latex just like isn't one of them yes it falls into the fashion category but I don't want to I don't want every one of my videos or every second video to be latex even though I know that if I post in latex it'll get the views like that's I don't want to just do things because I know that they're going to get views you know what I mean I want to be making videos that I want to make um so it's summer here right now again like it's kind of a gloomy morning which is why I'm still wearing long sleeves but I do have like little pajama shorts on but latex isn't really designed for summer it's definitely more of a winter thing because you will get hot and sweaty so I filmed a few videos for latex stuff um, earlier in the year towards the middle of the year when it was winter for me I will be doing since it's summer plenty of like bikinis and um, shorts and summer fashion stuff um, but not um, not necessarily so much latex okay quickly before i move on to the next topic fabian asks you speak spanish um un poco um i've been learning um soy madeleine um no como carne <laughs> i do know a lot more phrases than that but um, it's hard when you get put on the spot to just like come out with something um i've i've been studying spanish for a while now if you've watched back 
if you've been around my channel for a long time, when I traveled to Costa Rica in 2016, I that was the first time I started learning Spanish. I think two months before I left, I downloaded a like a language learning app and learned like the basics, like yeah, hi, I'm Madeline. Um, I don't eat that. Where's the bathroom? That kind of thing. But um, but then I did three weeks of like intense classes while I was in Costa Rica. And then came home and I used to do one class a week in Adelaide. But um, so maybe to say I was here taking classes for two years, I tended to accidentally I do like one term on, one term off, one term on, one term off. So I didn't really um, dive headfirst in because until right now I've been full time a full time uni student. So um, Spanish wasn't something that I did at university. I did that on the side and I wasn't getting any credit for it. I was just doing that for my own personal. Um, enjoyment and you know, my own benefit but it wasn't actually part of my degree and I did and it wasn't through my university so I got yeah no credit for it and I had to kind of squeeze it in to my off hours but I do currently use Duolingo and I'm planning on doing some like Spanish videos um coming up like not a whole video in Spanish but my partner he actually speaks Spanish I don't know if he's feel comfortable with me saying that he speaks fluently but um his mum grew up in Uruguay so she you know Latin America Spanish um but he his dad is from South Africa so it's like he grew up kind of speaking English and Spanish and some of the words kind of just blended together and they call it Spanglish I'm sure that's not a new term but yes I've been using Duolingo and I'm on like a 30 day streak right now. That's the glare is ridiculous, but I'll see if I can just turn the brightness down. Maybe you can see it then. Oh, now it's just reflecting. But yeah, so I've done all these lessons on Duolingo. Um, you can go and follow me over there if you want to like do challenges and things. Um, okay, so just reading the comments quickly. But yes, I do speak Spanish a little bit. I'm not confident enough to like do a whole video in it but I'm going to be doing some videos with my boyfriend and he's going to sit down and kind of um, teach me some some Spanish on camera I think it'll be funny like it'll be fun but also like hilarious if I get things wrong um okay so John Henrich says okay will you wear more latex do you want to show us samples right now no I think you missed the point um no um Hello to M. Toretto. Um, Tony, again, I think you missed the whole point. Tony says, show the latex, and I just talked about how I'm not going to be wearing latex. Um, Cameron. Look, anyone who's on this live stream, if you're just here to see me wear latex, bye. I'm sorry, but that's not what this is about. And I think that's the main reason I don't want to wear it, is because people come to watch my videos, and they're like, oh, if you're not wearing latex, like... <laughs> I'm a person, I have other interests, I have other things that I'm good at and I find fun and interesting and if you're only here to stare at my body in latex pants then sayonara, um, adios if you want me to do it in Spanish. Um, okay, Lorenzo says, let's be serious for a moment, if you could only describe yourself by naming a dessert, which would it be? I don't really um relate to desserts so much so I don't really know how to answer that question um my favorite dessert is probably just ice cream I'm pretty basic like that um chocolate ice cream all the way so hi to um Marcos <laughs> okay this is a weird one um Dr. Onopti <laughs> says, do you agree that Under Armour spandex fabric is the best looking leg, le uh, is the best looking legging fabric ever? No, I actually don't have any idea what that looks like. And I don't own a single pair of um, Under Armour leggings. If someone wishes to purchase some and send them my way, feel free. PO box will be in the description. But um, no, I, I have my brands that I like to stick with. Honestly, the 
best for fabric so far I've tried is um, Lahana Active. They are like ridiculously expensive. It's like $109 for a pair of leggings. So it's kind of bought, it's, they're going into um, like Lululemon category of pricing, but I haven't tried any Under Armour ones. So no, I can't agree with that, but um, yeah. Okay, so Luca TV says, guys, I'm, I'm reading this out loud so that people who can't see the chat stream or I'm watching can um, follow along later on. And I also just like this comment. Um, Luca TV says, guys, don't see her just like a girl wearing latex the whole time and doing nothing else. Look at the things she also does, like living her life as a nutritionist or something else. Exactly. I am a whole person. I'm not just some one dimensional um, object for you to. I'm not just some object for you to look at and do whatever it is you do while you watch my videos. I know there are some creepy people out here doing God knows what to my videos, but most of the people who watch my channel are just nice, genuine, amazing people. Probably most of you guys here in the live chat um, actually care enough and are decent people. So you like these are the people that I'm making videos for. Um, I am still hoping that more females will watch my videos, but um, got to kind of work on fixing the algorithm. And I'm more than happy to keep the guys around as well. I just would like to kind of make more, um, you yeah, like fashion and makeup type videos. And um, when I, currently when I post those, they get very little views because um, yeah, my like 90% male subscribers don't really care about the makeup videos really. Um, M Toretto says, where do you come from? Um, I'm Australian. I don't have the thickest Aussie accent because I'm from South Australia. So South Australians are known for having, um, less intense accents. I feel like if I'm around Aussie people, I can definitely pick up more of an accent. But, um, yeah, I've lived in Australia my whole life. I've lived in this whole, this, I've lived in this same house my whole life. I mean, for periods here and there for college or college, university, I've moved away um, short term, but I've always lived in this house because while we've been studying full time, the deal was that I could just live here for free um, and save some money. So I'm from Australia. I have, my parents were both born in Australia. Um, yeah, just near Adelaide. In the, the main city of South Australia, the capital of South Australia is Adelaide and I live half an hour outside of that. So I pretty much just say that I live in Adelaide. Um, Fabian says, Haha, Luca, go to bed, please sleep. Um, I'm actually just fine. I've woken up. It's morning time here. It is 8.19 in the morning. So I am perfectly fine. I'm drinking my coffee and feeling good. Mm. Okay, John Henrich says, we know that we, we know that and we appreciate it. She's a lot more than only wearing latex. We know that she's not, that's not the point. It's also mainly a fashion vlog and we just want to see some new clothes. Um, yes, well, you will see some new stuff, but like I said, the latex items I have now are the same that I had in all my other videos. So you can just go back and rewatch those if you really want to. Um, I'll make more videos later. Yeah, so that's the thing. Um, with my live chats, I try to. I've been trying to this month schedule them at all different times because I know, like around the world, it's you know not always convenient for everyone with time zones. So Fabian says right now in Spain it's ten fifty at night, but yeah, um, same in Hungary. Um, <laughs> it's funny seeing you guys all talk in the live chat. But yeah, so that was topic number one, latex. Cross that off. I feel like we've covered that. If you do have more questions, leave them in the chat and I can address them at some stage. Oh, um, Lorenzo asks, have you tried Bon Soy soy milk? If so, how do you rate it compared to so good? Um, bon Soy is delicious. It is a lot fattier, which is why it tastes so good. It tastes amazing in coffee and most um, good coffee Places that serve soy milk will use bon soy now and it froths up amazingly. Um, I actually have the Nespresso coffee frother. So I 
when I first got that, I went and bought Bonsoi to put in it, but it honestly frothed too much. Um, it was like too intense, so I switched back to the regular So Good. And I do feel like if you drink Bonsoi all day, you kind of start to get a bit sick of it because it's a bit heavier. It's like really like creamy and delicious and smooth, but it's a bit heavier. So um, if I'm just having like one coffee a day, I would definitely pick Bonsoi. But I tend to just drink So Good a regular is my go-to, and that's what I've got um frothed in my coffee this morning is the bonds not the bonds so it is the so good um so hi to marcos um what was i gonna say i was gonna move on to the next topic which was gonna be my family i have had a few questions lately about um why i don't show my family in my videos and honestly the main reason i don't is just because it's their own personal preference um, just because I'm sitting here making videos doesn't mean that they they need to be in them. Um, I have never really talked about it with my parents, to be honest. I don't know that they even, like, fully understand it. Maybe my dad would want to be in a video at some point. That might be fun. Um, but my um, sisters, I have one older sister, and she is married with a child and has lived out of home for, God, probably, like, seven years now. Um, maybe even longer, ever since she was, like, in year 12 of high school so in like final year of high school she's pretty much lived out of home whereas my younger sister is um she still lives at home with me because she went to university straight out of high school same as me and is only just graduating now um so we still live at home and my younger sister she's been in a few videos here and there but my older sister hasn't uh, i think she's been on like, the background of a few when I've done like time lapses and stuff like that, but never like to sit down and talk to the camera. Whereas Bryony, my younger sister, she came to the Philippines with me. So she was in those videos um, and probably a few others here and there as well. But yeah, the reason I don't show them is just because I don't want to put the camera in their face and force them to be in our videos if they don't want to. Um, and my older sister specifically, her husband, um, they kind of just don't, like to post like even when they got married they requested that we didn't post photos of the wedding on um, instagram or facebook and things like that they just kind of wanted to keep it to themselves they're very private like that which is complete opposite of me so it's kind of funny but i do but i still totally respect their decision if they don't want to share their photos that's up to them and especially now they have a daughter they kind of want her to be a ghost <laughs> at least until she's a bit older and just like not have um and just not have photos of her online anywhere. Um, so I think there's maybe like one or two photos of her on Facebook that other people have posted without um, asking. But yeah, so I have a thousand photos of my niece and my sister takes about 10 photos of her a day, if not more, but they just live on her phone, not on um, the internet where everyone can see them. Um... But yeah, so maybe I'll do some videos with my little sister. I think that would be fun if she wants to, but I'll have to ask her. And same with my friends. I kind of just get awkward about asking people to be in my videos because I don't want to be like, hey, do you want to be in a video? And they're like, mm, no. So I just don't film around people, even though I know some of my friends do actually like watching my videos and probably would enjoy being in them. But yeah, so to any of my friends out there, if you want to be in my videos, let me know. I feel like it's more fun um, and the videos are more enjoyable to watch when it's not just me. It's like me and someone because you kind of get like the vibe and the banter and all that kind of stuff. Um, reading up on the comments. Have you ever eaten those vegetable burgers? Yes, all the time. I'm not sure if you mean something specifically. Um, if you're talking about like the Beyond Meat burger that like is supposed to taste like beef, I have tried one of those. We have that in Hungry Jack's, which is the Australian version of Burger King. Um, and I've had maybe one or two. Of, well, I think I've only eaten half of one. We got one and then I like, cut it in half and I ate half. But I've had like a bite of a few others because I prefer just like the regular veggie whopper that they do. Um... Hmm. 
I would love to come to Ibiza, or Ibiza, Ibiza. I don't know how you say it, but um, yeah, definitely not going to be able to make it there this year. I feel like there were some other topics I wanted to discuss, but I can't remember right off the top of my head. What did I even put in the description last time? Um, Okay, thinking, thinking, thinking. I don't know how I've forgotten. Um, um, someone asks, hello, you know Spain? Um, I guess you're new to this chat. We were just talking a little bit earlier about how I do know a little bit of Spanish, um, but I've never actually been to Spain. Um, what's my favourite Lady Gaga song? I have no idea. I haven't listened to Lady, Ga Lady Gaga in years. Um, honestly, maybe Shallow, like the new one from, well, it's not even that new, but from the movie. Um, I'm not really a huge Lady Gaga fan. I mean, I don't not like her. Her music is great. I just don't regularly listen to it. Um... All right, bye, M. Toretto. Thanks for coming. Hello to Stefan. Um, um, I can't believe I've forgotten what else I was going to be talking about today. Live, so we already talked about latex. We talked about my family. Um, maybe that was it. Mm, does anyone have any other questions before I go? Um, I normally try to make these about half an hour and we're coming up to about 23 minute mark. So if you have any other questions, let me know now before I sign this off. Um, I guess I could just talk about videos that I am planning on posting the rest of this month. If anyone has any um, requests of videos you'd like to see before the end of this year, I have my Christmas lookbook that I'm going to film today. Um, I'm also going to do one for New Year's Eve. Um, oh, um, hi, Lorenzo Alejandro. Um, sorry, what about Alejandro? Oh, okay, I get it. Um, yes, my boyfriend's name is Alejandro, and I guess that song is his name. <laughs> um, what am I doing here? I know I've gone lost on my train of thought. Um, but yeah, so I'm planning on doing um, like a lookbook for New Year's and for Christmas. I did the same last year. So I'll, um, I can link them down below if you want to check them out. I think last year I did include some PVC looks. You can go check out if you're interested. Um, but other than that, I kind of just want to do, oh, this weekend is like a Chris Kindle marked. Thing. There's like a German Christmas market on this weekend, so I'm gonna go to that. I think that will make a cute vlog. So we'll maybe go tomorrow afternoon or go on Saturday. And then on Sunday is my dad's family Christmas. So my parents are still together, happily married, but my dad's family, we do their Christmas um, usually two weekends before Christmas. So we'll do his party this weekend. And then we see mum's family on Christmas Day. Um, it just makes it a bit easier than trying to like run around to like 12 different places. And that's just the way we've done it since I was a little kid. Um, so yeah, those will be fun videos to make. Otherwise, I do kind of want to do some more like 
um, travel-y type ones, like going down to the beaches. Um, and then for next year, for January, I plan on doing like a whole bikini um, lookbook type thing. So not just like me standing here showing you my bikinis, but like here we are at the beach wearing the bikinis. Um, that's kind of what I want to make as well as like travel videos because I'll be moving in the very start of February. So I'll be doing videos like um, packing up my room, selling my clothes, all that kind of thing. Um, and then obviously there'll be the travel vlogs. So first we fly out to South Africa. Um, so that will be very exciting. I have never been to Africa, so I'm very keen to go. Um, oh, someone, sorry, I'm missing. There's a lot of um, comments coming through, so I'm kind of missing a few. Um, <laughs> do you like to do housework? Sometimes I hate washing the dishes, that's my least favourite, but I don't mind doing like the laundry or like making the bed and things like that. Um, are you coming to Tomorrowland this summer in Belgium? No, that would be awesome, but I'm not, I have no plans to do that. Um, <laughs> latex swimwear, I feel like that would be like the most uncomfortable thing ever. Um, PVC look swimwear. I'm around. Um, it's like the Opoly ones. They have a lot of um, like plastic look bikinis. If anyone wants to purchase an order, I can um, send you my sizes and you can send them to my PO box and then I'll do a haul in those. But um, yeah, that's all there is to say about that. But I do, I think I prefer PVC to real latex just because I can put it on with like fake nails and not have to worry about like tearing holes in it. So if there's no other questions anyone has or um, suggestions or videos you'd like to see before the end of the year. Um, what's my favourite colour? My favourite colour is actually blue. A lot of people think it is pink, but I feel like it's deep down always been um, blue, like a sky blue. I do love blush pink and rose gold, but um, blue is probably like my all time. Wait, not like a dark blue, more like, you know, sky, baby blue. Um. Okay, well I think I'm gonna just close out here. So thank you to anyone who has um, you know, stuck around for the live chat. Oh, um, someone had, Lauren says, just ask, what's your favourite brand of foundation? I usually use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. So Too Faced, I guess, is my brand. Um, that's the one I regularly keep going back to. Can I sing? Absolutely not. I am. I have an awful singing voice. I used to be a dancer, but not a singer. Um, but yes, thank you for joining today. I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Tomorrow's video is going to be a vlog. Um, do you want me to do another live chat? Should I do another one in the next few weeks? Because I definitely can. They're actually easier for me to do than to film, like to sit down, film a whole video, edit it and upload it. I can just like come on here and then like, bam, day 11 is done. So maybe I'll do another one um, next week. I think that's fair to do like one live chat. A week and then it kind of just like keeps it fresh and mixes it up. Oh god, my back is killing me. I don't need to go get a back massage. Um, but yeah, hi Daniel. I'm good, thank you. But I am leaving now. If you didn't, if you did miss that, so thank you everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. I will be yeah posting the vlog tomorrow and then hopefully the holiday lookbooks will be coming um next week or yeah. Soon. <laughs> Bye.